Hello and welcome! In this video, I'll be going over the Woolworths Discovery Garden 2 promotion that started today, Wednesday the 10th of February 2021. I'll be opening some seedling kits, as well as going over some tips and tricks on how to maximize the amount of uh, kits that you get per shop. I went shopping today and I got 86 pots, um, so we'll be opening a lot of those. And before we go any further, let's just see what we actually have in the promotion. Um, so first up, you have the pots themselves. So here we have one of them. Uh, it is the second time they've done this, so let's compare it to one of the originals. So same size, different color, slightly different designs, um, and there are different actual seeds this time around. Uh, all but two of them are focused on plants that get pollinated by bees to help the bee population um, after all the droughts and fires and floods that have destroyed flowers across Australia. Um, so we've got all of those. We have a bunch of associated items on sale at the moment as well. We have, for example, these cute little pots for $5 each. They're made out of metal, got some nice little designs on them a bee, a frog, and a ladybug. So that's those out of the way. Let's move them to the side. So $5 each for some metal pots. Then we have some metal bug stakes. We have a grasshopper, and they look to be quite tall. We have the lady beetle. And we have the bee. So cute little stakes to put into your garden. Um, we also have some larger little insects to put around the place. So we have the metal grasshopper decoration um, and the decoration metal lady beetle. Uh, so these ones were all $10 each. And then there we have the metal bee decoration. So those three were $10 each. The garden stakes were $5 each. The pots were $5 each. And then there were a bunch of birds as well. I only bought one of the birds. Uh, so the birds are $15 each. Here we have the rainbow lorikeet. It has some information about them. And really gorgeously done bit of like spring sort of action on the wings. There was also a magpie, I think a cockatoo, and a kookaburra. There was only one uh, lorikeet left, so I decided to grab this one, and I may gra grab the other ones in the future. Just have to wait and see. Spent a lot of money today, so I have to uh, pace myself. I also picked up a kid's apron. There's meant to be a bunch of other things like hats and gloves and some gardening tools. My local store didn't have them on shelf yet or possibly haven't even received them in yet. Or maybe they've sold out. Not entirely sure, so I'll be keeping an eye out for those. Um, we have these littered around the place as well. Free little informational pamphlet slash storybook. It says interactive storybook. So, read and learn as you go, I guess. So that's that one. Uh, we'll move that to the side. And then we have our actual, what do we call it? Garden bed, I guess. The receipt calls it our mini garden for Barry. I'm guessing Barry's the bee. Um, so those are $4 each. Um, I will show you, I bought two of them, one for me, one for different family member. Uh, so this is the sheet down the bottom there before I actually go through that. So that's what the thing looks like by itself to put all the things securely on. Um, and then here we have all the different plants this time around. So we have cornflower, lemon balm, lavender, sage, thyme, chives, red basil or basil, um, pansy admire, salvia, uh, Phacelia, Poppy, Swan River Daisy, uh, Phlox, Dianthus, Cabbage Sugarloaf, Zinnia, 
bunching onions, silver bait, uh, lettuce mixed leave, sorry, lettuce mixed salad leaves, um, carrot all seasons, asta perpetual spinach, tomato cherry, and oregano or oregano, depending on your location around the world and how you decide to pronounce things. Um, there we have the back, so they're all little plant tags for them. Then we have the backing card as well, which I uh, put over there to try and pour all of these out of the box. I bought so many that it was almost a full box, so they took the ones that they needed to out and gave me the box instead of pulling them all out of the box. Let's see if I can carefully slide that off. Okay, better than expected. So here we have the back of the card, and then the front. And let's compare that to the original one. So mostly the same, just different design, different color. Um, okay, so that is that. We can start opening some up. And then at the end, we will be going over the actual shopping I did to get all of this um, with all the tips and tricks for that before we do that. So in total, I ended up spending just over $400 for this. Um, and then that gave me like 14 for the $400 spent or something like that. And then the rest, which was, I think like 60 something, my math is bad. Uh, those were all bonus from buying all the promoting items. So let's open some up and then let's go and check out the actual shopping, excluding the things that I bought that are here. Okay. Um, let's slide that out. And where is the part to rip? Along the back. Okay. So our first one is a Pansy Admire. So we've got our coconut dirt, I think it is, soil pellet. We have our pot to plant it in. And then we have the seeds. Tiny little things. Focus, thank you. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. We have a zinnia. Focus, thank you. Larger seeds this time. With all the other same stuff. Next up we have another zinnia. So I'm curious if we can map the box. Okay, so we don't need to actually look at that because that's a double. Is this also going to be a zinnia? This one is another zinnia. Okay, so I'm guessing when you buy enough to get a full box, here is the box. Ta da! Um, there's 24 per layer, and there's 24 in total. So I'm guessing if we go over 24, we should get them all. Okay, let's see if we can do that. Okay, I carefully took the top layers off, so those are safely away. In theory, we should hopefully get one of everything from this bottom section. Um, so I've put the zinnia and the pansy up in their spaces. Let's see if we can get everything. If we can, then spending a whole lot on day one was definitely worth it. Okay, so next up, focus, we have silver beet. And those are the seeds for those ones. Big, interesting things. Chuck that back in there. And where does silver beet go? I can't see it. There you are. Let's move on to the next one. Um, so it definitely looks like the boxes come with four full sets inside of them. So I should have, in theory, at least three full sets. So that should be my family completely done. Okay, next up we have... Focus. Aster. And here we have the Aster Seeds. 
And those go over there. Next up. Pansy Admire. So, that's one of the ones from higher up that we already opened. Let's move that to the side. Next up we have the Tomato Cherry, or Cherry Tomato. There we have the seeds. And you go down there. So the way they are in the box is different to the way they are on the set. Next up we have Red Basil or Basil. And the seeds, tiny little things. And that one goes over there. Trying to look around all the other pots makes things difficult. Okay, so let's try and move everything in view a little more so we can see where I'm grabbing for, from. Okay, next up. We have the Perpetual Spinach. And that one goes right down there. Wait. There we have the seeds. And next up. We have the Phlox, and here we have the seeds, and that goes over there, and we have chives. Five seeds, and those go in the top corner. Next up, cabbage sugar loaf, there we have the seeds, and they go over there behind that pot. Okay. Almost halfway there. We have the Swan River Daisy. We have the seeds for the Swan River Daisy. Tiny little things. And that is up there. And now, halfway through, we have time. There's the seeds, and chuck that up there. Okay, shuffle them all forward again. We have the box, and inside we have carrot all seasons. The seeds, and it belongs there. Next up, Poppy. Poppy seeds. And it goes up there. Next we have sage. Sage seeds, slightly larger. I feel much more comfortable when I can actually see the seeds. That low goes up there, and now we move on to lettuce mixed salad leaves. Some slightly bigger seeds on these ones, and they go in this corner. Next up, we have Vesselia. 
Phacelia Seeds. And it goes up in that spot there. Last one from that row. We have Lavender. Lavender Seeds. And it goes up the top there. Last row. Three fourths down. Three quarters. Okay, we have oregano or oregano. I can't get it out. Ah! Ah! Okay. Tiny, tiny seeds. It goes in that corner. Next up, we have salvia. We have salvia seeds. Focus. And they go up there. Okay, four left there, four left there. We are looking good. We have lemon balm. Is this one wedged in? Yes, it is. Okay. We have the lemon balm seeds. And we have its home up in the corner there. Third last. We have bunching onion. Bunching onion seeds. Focus. And they go down there. Two left. We have dianthus. Dianthus seeds. And the last one should be cornflower. And we have cornflower. Wonderful. So there is actually logic to the boxes that they come in. There we have the cornflower seeds. Interesting looking. And there you go up there. So that is the first part of the video done. We now know what the boxes look like. We now know what the seeds look like. And we've opened up and got in a complete set. Hopefully I have two other complete sets. So that's good to go. Now the ticks and trips, excuse me, the tips and tricks on how to get this many pots in the first place. Um, so I'm going to go over to my kitchen now where I have all of the things that I purchased today spread out. I'll be showing you all the participating brands and telling you the terms and conditions of using them. Um, and we'll go over that. So I'll see you shortly. Okay, so now it's time to go over all the shopping I did in order to get all of these pots. Um, so first of all, for every $30 you spend, you get one, and then you get bonus pots for all of the participating brands that you purchase. Um, we're going to start with the cold stuff to get it out of the way and get it back into the fridge slash freezer. So you can get up to three bonus pots per brand. So first up we have Pampas, which is some frozen items. We have the Pampas Lemon Meringue 4-Pack uh, for five dollars and eighty cents, and then we have the short crust five pack uh, for five fifty each. So that's the Pampers stuff. I'm going to chuck that back in the freezer now. Okay, now we can move on to our uh, refrigerated items. So the Jorna meat has participating stuff as well. And that sounded completely silly. Um, so purchasing DiGiorno products as well gives you bonus pots. So I bought these three ones for $2.75 each. Some salami, some ham. Um, and then we also have uh, Yumi's Family Classic Recipe dips. So I bought some traditional Middle Eastern hummus. Uh, French onion hummus times two. Those were $2.80 each. And then Flora is also a participating brand. So I bought some of their 500 gram uh, spreads. So two original and one buttery. 
see what the difference between them are. They're $2.99 each, so now I'll go and chuck those back into the fridge. Okay, so now that those are back in the fridge, I can take my time a little more. Um, so, essentially, with all the butter and meat, I can make sandwiches, which will be great. With all the hummus, I bought some crackers as well. Those crackers and the cereal at the back there, not a part of any of the participating brand deals. I just needed to top up on those things. Um, going back to participating brands, we have Bonds, for example. So I've bought some Guy Front underwear and some new socks, because you can always do it some more of those. Uh, they were on sale at the moment, so that worked out well. Sabco is a participating brand at the moment as well. So I bought myself a dustpan and brush set, as well as some sponges. The dustpan and brush set was $5.50. Um, and the scrubber two pack um, was two dollars. The deluxe kitchen scrub and wipe three pack was two dollars and seventy five cents. So nice, cheap little additions. Uh, so let's move those out of the way. Um, next up, we have some Energizer products. So any Energizer product pretty much works. I needed some more AA and AAA batteries, so we grabbed those. Um, I'm going to pause move some stuff out of the way. Okay, so I'm not going to go over the prices of everything, um, but yeah, so next up we have Vega. Um, I'm assuming the cheese works as well, but I just went with some nice long life peanut butter and Vegemite. Um, so three extra bonus pots there. Capilano is also a brand that's participating. so. Bought three of the cheapest little honeys that I could. Um, I don't go through honey all that often, so using small ones will be the best way to go through with that. Um, Garnier is a participating brand, so I could have gone with shampoo or conditioner or something like that. I decided to go with some curl control. Uh, five in one defining mousse. My hair sometimes gets unmanageable, so hopefully this is useful, as well as some like tissue masks um, for, you know, prettying up the face. I'll give them to my sister as a gift. It's almost her birthday. Um, that's not a part of the brand deals. I just needed to get rid of some ants around my house. Macro is a brand participating, so I went with some chips. Try out some hemp corn chips, jalapeno flavored. Thought it would be a good chance to try out some new stuff. We also have some original flavored corn chips. Uh, certified Organic. Glen 20 is a brand that's participating. So, bought some little Glen 20 spray disinfectants. Figured could probably come in handy. Keep everything nice and clean. Um, Synovus is participating. So, got some Mega C, uh, I believe, chewable tablets. Possibly, maybe not. Um, but anyway, nice and healthy. As well as some men's multivitamins. I already had a bottle of this and it's half finished because, you know, helps keep me healthy. So, got those. Um, Jordan's is a participating brand. These are probably the nicest looking things for me personally. So I was like, yeah, let's go with some strawberry crispy oat clusters. Um, needed some new cereal anyway, so that worked out well. We have Whole Earth, which is a participating brand. They do, like, sugar sticks and... Like, not sugar, essentially. So, figured I'd give those a go. Uh, Fairy was half price at the moment. They're participating brands, so I grabbed some nice little uh, dishwashing liquid. Keep things going. Uh, Nescafe, Nescafe rather, is participating. So, latte, mocha, and vanilla latte, little uh, sachets, whatever you want to call them. Nice little coffees. Uh, Yates is participating, so I went with the cheapest thing, which was some seeds. So we have some cos lettuce, some all-seasons carrot, and some spring onion seeds. It was like three for nine dollars or something like that, so works out cheaper than buying the, uh, what was I looking at? I was looking at water-soluble solution fertilizer sort of thing. Um, went with some Belvita breakfast chocolate biscuit things. Because Belvita, excuse me, Belvita is participating as well. Um, so, eaten those in the past. 
So good to stock up while it's worthwhile, giving me some bonus things. Um, Dove is another participating brand, so I could have gone with some soap, some shampoo, conditioner. I went with some roll-ons, antiperspirants. Um, Colgate is participating, so I got some dental floss, some mouth rinse, mouth wash rather, and a new toothbrush. Always good to keep your teeth healthy. Um, Curash is a participating brand, so got some baby wipes because they're always handy to clean some things up. Um, nothing else that Curash really has is useful for me, so baby wipes it is. Wonder is a brand, so we have some nice bread and some rolls. What are they called? Flatbread. Wraps. There we go. I couldn't figure out the word for a second. So grab some of those. Um, and then the last things that I purchased were some nice and natural fruit strings and a roasted nut bars pack. Um, because I was like, yeah, let's go with those. Give them a try as well. There was one other participating brand, which I believe was Cold Power or Dynamo, something like that. I didn't need any washing up liquid, and I couldn't justify buying, you know, 20 something dollars worth of washing liquid just for one extra pot. But I can make all of this work, so I figured I'd grab it all. Uh, so those are all the participating brands. You can get up to three bonus pots per brand um, per $30 shop. So you need to spend at least $30 in order to get any of the bonuses. So if you spend $29 and have three of these in it, it doesn't count. Uh, so that is about it. That's all the shopping I did to get all of the pots that I did. Uh, glad I did because I ended up with three full sets, I think. So that's great. Um, hope you've all enjoyed. Hope this has been of a help to you. So hopefully you can finish your sets as well. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I do unboxings and video gameplay. And other than that, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching, and goodbye.